when the Cypriot fighters usually block the road in Moyuka, I've been taken twice to the bushes by the boys. And so when you talk about me leaving the crisis, I've had the experience. You see, all what we are currently commenting, analyzing, condemning in the strongest terms has a genesis. And Mr. Liu, we've got to tell ourselves the truth, looking at each other on the face. Mr. Liu, <clears throat> it is a historical fact that the liars in chief of this government have been lying to Cameroonians, especially the elites of the Northwest and Southwest region. Until when His Excellency the President of the Republic made a declaration in France and said there was an assimilation agenda by the government of Cameroon to assimilate Southern Cameroonians in this God so blessed country. Mr. Liu, it is a historical fact that this God so blessed country had two stars on its flag. That simply meant two people came together to build this great nation. Each time, Mr. Liu, I watch at the pictures that were taken in Fumban, the banner reads how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell or come together. Today, we are seeing Cameroonians killing each other simply because there was an agenda for assimilation. And ever since the head of state of this great country made that pronouncement, Mr. Liu, we have not had commentaries or even apologies from our, our elites that have been lying to us that everything is okay, there was no assimilation agenda, there was no marginalization. My co-panelists on the right made mention of why a while ago. We started with rubber gun. It went on to Dain guns. We have now had sophisticated equipment. Not we. How, I was not part of that how did we get here? Is the question you've asked me. We have gotten here because of greed. We have gotten here because of egocentrism. We have gotten here because we don't lack, we, we don't have love for fatherland. And Mr. Leo, we must be able to tell ourselves nothing but the truth. Each time you enthrone a lie, the truth becomes the rebel. Cameroonians are dying every day simply because we want to tell ourselves the truth. Mr. Leo, the government of Cameroon refused to apply the constitution that was given to them, and today we are talking about fast-tracking decentralization. Mr. Leo, I want to say it in all honesty. The government bench of Cameroon has to take responsibility to end this crisis. If the head of state of this country admitted in an international platform that there was an agenda of assimilation, where is the justice to give the people of Southern Cameroon special status? Where is the justice? And of course, for those who are propagating uh, the, uh, the, the ideology of Southern Cameroons, each time when I talk about this issue, some of them get angry with me. I want to ask you one question. Where are the British Northern Cameroonians? Their fathers voted, and today they are called Nigerians. Our fathers voted to join La République du Cameroon, and by virtue of that vote, we are Cameroonians. The Independence Manifesto of Southern Cameroon reads, independence and reunification that simply means our our independence must be in the union for which we have been able to engage ourselves and our founding fathers had the ideal and the vision to build the land of promise and the land of glory why should we be killing ourselves when apparently we are advocating for the welfare of cameroonians mr leo this is my take if the head of state of this nation admitted that government had a plan of assimilation, let justice and restitution be done. We cannot, and we continue to say it, all wars in the world end on a dialogue table. And for, for, for goodness sake, we have had a dialogue in Cameroon. And it appears to me, Mr. Liu, that to the government, the dialogue that they had is enough. That was an event. Dialogue is a process. 
And I'm trying to simply say that we have the first dialogue, we have resolutions that we're taking, which was good. Let's have a second dialogue to be able to do a critical analysis of where we are going wrong and to right our, uh, to, to right our wrongs. Cameroonians cannot continue to die when we are trying to reinforce our identity of saying that we want to maintain the state's value when Cameroonians are dying. I remember and I want to quote the former then Minister of Communication when, our, when the university students were beaten and robbed in mud was asked in, in an interview, Sir, if it were your child that was beaten by the military, robbed in mud,